Hi everyone and welcome to the Trucking YouTube channel. Well, it's a gray and rainy day, but it's all right. I'm still excited because I've got an empty trailer and the Ford Ranger Tremor, and that means it is pickup day. So in this video, we're gonna go pick up a power sports unit. I'll tell you everything you need to know about that truck right there, how it tows a trailer, and I know you wanna see it go off-road. That's coming up in a future video. So let's hit the road and make sure you stay tuned. And now we have arrived here folks at Honda Canada and we are here today to pick up that guy right there. That is the Honda Pioneer 520. It's a more affordable version of the Pioneer so that's why I'm really excited to test it out and see how it stacks up to that big Pioneer 1000. So let's load her up and we'll hit the road and make sure you come back to the channel for a future video on the Pioneer because for now we got to talk more about this Ranger Tremor and how it tows this trailer. Okay folks, we're just setting out here from Honda. That is a 2021 Honda Pioneer 520. The company lists the curb weight at 1,065 pounds or 1,062. Um, that means that my whole package behind me today is basically 3,000 pounds machine and trailer in. Now here on the Ranger Tremor, I have a tow rating of 7,500 pounds. And that is significant because that's the same tow rating that other Rangers get with the tow package. So you don't actually have to give up that towing capacity when you go for this Tremor package. And that's something that obviously matters to Ford because it's the same story with their heavy duty Tremor. If you get an F-250 Tremor, you don't give up your towing and payload ratings to get all of that off-road capability. And uh, that is pretty cool. That is not true at the other brands. So if you're looking at the off-road trims specifically of each one of the midsizers, the Ranger Tremor can tow the most. So how is the Ranger actually handling this trailer? Well, you know what, it is a windy day, but it's a flat deck and just a side-by-side, -side, so I'm not really feeling the wind. And besides that, um, the Ranger, especially in stock form, I think is one of the stiffest mid-size pickup trucks. Now with the Tremor here, we do have entirely revised suspension, including Fox shocks. So that helps to soften things up. And then with some weight on the back, this truck is entirely comfortable rolling down the road, has none of that chatter that the stock truck can have uh, and then when we're talking about this EcoBoost I honestly feel like this little four-cylinder punches above its weight now on paper it's making 270 horsepower 310 pound-feet of torque but uh, put this thing into tow haul mode and the transmission which is a 10 speed knows where it wants to be and wherever it goes to the power band is right there so there's a bit of turbo lag it takes a beat to kind of get to that power but once it kicks in this is a strong powertrain package even with that weight on the back it's pulling it like a champ and talking about power now i'm really going to prove it i am just merging onto the highway here and power power comes on quick and this thing accelerates quickly i will say it doesn't sound great um, the other naturally aspirated V6s in the segment certainly sound a little bit beefier. That's always going to be the case when you're comparing a 6 to a 4. And now cruising down the highway again, the Ranger feels nice and planted and comfortable and definitely feels like I could add to the weight behind me, no doubt about that. Um, now one knock against the Ranger, I do not have an integrated trailer brake controller here. You think Ford would have maybe focused a little bit more on towing, but uh, yeah, they didn't do that. Hopefully when the Ranger is updated, that's one of the things they will address. So in terms of the way it's been handling here today, I really have no complaints. This Ranger is doing an excellent job. I do have a complaint about it though. 
This interior is not good. It just feels so old, so plasticky, um, not modern whatsoever. When this truck first came out back in 2019, when it was all new, essentially it was already an old interior that was being sold in world markets that they just shipped to North America. So even when it was new, it was never new. And now that it's already, you know, two years old, man, I just, I get in here and I can't help but feel like this interior, it just feels so last generation because it basically is. Um, now there is a new Ford Ranger coming in the not too distant future. And interestingly enough, Ford and Volkswagen have tied up for midsize pickups. So the next Ranger and the next Volkswagen Amarok are going to be related. So that's really going to be interesting to see what they do there. Um, but once again, when the new Ranger comes about, hopefully they can go ahead and correct the sin that is this interior. Now ergonomically, I will say it's fine, and I fit in here really nicely. Um, it's, it's, it reminds me of the Chevy Colorado in so much that you can get the seat nice and low in this truck, so you really feel like you're down in it, unlike a Toyota Tacoma where you sit up high and you're kind of on top of it. Um, and I'm, you know, 6'2", a big dude, I fit great in this Ranger. And all the controls here, you know, they're easy to get to, they're clearly marked, so in terms of actually day-to-day -day use, no real issues. It's basically just my eyes telling me that what I'm looking at is old and not up to date or up to snuff. Now on the interior of the Tremor specifically, there's a couple things that will tell you it's a Tremor. The first one are these seats. You get these nice leather seats with Tremor stitching. They're quite comfortable, quite wide as well. The other thing that reminds you you're in a Tremor is this bank of auxiliary switches up here on the dash. You get six different auxiliary switches, so those are pre-wired. So if you want to add lights to your Tremor or an air compressor or anything else that takes power, you can just wire it right into one of those switches that is a, a nice feature to have from the factory. Another little feature that I like from Ford is not only can you choose which gear you want to be in, but it actually lets you lock out your top gears. So you have a little plus minus button down here on your shifter column. And as you go through the minuses, you're actually just locking out 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and so on um, until you get down to the gear you want. So again, you can control exactly where you want to be. But if you know that you're in hill country and you don't want it getting up into that, you know, 9 and 10th overdrive gears, tall overdrive gears, well, then you can just lock it down as a six speed. And once you're in six, like I'm in right now, actually, you still have plenty of that low end torque that you want. So that's something that I'm pretty sure only Ford does. And I've always thought that was a smart way to go about it because when you are towing trailers, you want to have uh, that extra control over your transmission. Now, we're gonna take this truck off-road, and actually I'm real excited because Chevy lent us a ZR2, so we're gonna compare it with the ZR2 off-road, and once I really start beating on it, I'll get a better sense for the suspension, but right now, strictly having driven it on-road, I can tell you that it's a big improvement over the regular Ranger, and easily my favorite Ranger I've driven so far. Alrighty, well folks, here we are at the test property and I am excited to test both that Honda Pioneer 520 and this Ford Ranger Tremor off-road. Now, if you wanna see us get it muddy, make sure you come back for a future video. I think the summary on this video is that when Ford put together this Tremor package, they didn't take away any of the tow rating from this truck, which means that if you're looking for an off-road midsizer that can tow, this is honestly your best option. Well, everybody, that's it for this video. Like I said, come back soon because we're going off-road. We're gonna get it dirty. And of course, I wanna hear from you. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the Ranger Tremor. As always, while you're down there, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the join button to become a member of the channel, and then come right back here to Truck King to see this Ranger Tremor get muddy. See ya.